Hello students, let's proceed for the next part of the digital signal processing. That is, we are dealing up with the unit number one, DSP preliminaries and applications. In this particular unit, up till now we have seen what is DSP, we have seen this signal, which are the different types of the signal, as well as we have seen the system, what is mean by the system. Now let's look at basic elements of the DSP system. This is the important part as far as the syllabus is considered. So to understand what are the basic elements of the DSP, first of all, let's analyze what is analog signal processing means ESP. Most of the signal encountered in the science and engineering are analog in nature. Obviously, here about we can say all the signals are analog in nature. The signals may be processed directly appropriate analog systems such as filters based on the analog filters or the frequency analyzers or frequency multipliers for the purpose of changing their characteristics in such a case the signal has been processed directly in its analog form so that is what this particular block diagram represents means analog input signal is converted into the analog output signal it means let's uh, assume that input signal is with the 1 megahertz frequency and if i want to convert it with the, let's say final frequency that is of 3 megahertz i will have to use here the frequency multiplier so it's 1 to 3 since so i need to multiply it by 3 so that i will get the output again with the 3 megahertz this is what the simple task but the need of digital signal processing comes when actually we need a digitized quantity or the digitized value in order to form the digitized value next need that is the basic elements of the DSP system arises so let's see what are the basic elements of the DSP system let's analyze this one let me first of all explain this digital signal processing provides an alternative method for processing the analog signal perform the processing digitally there is a need for an interface between the analog signal and the digital processor <coughs> that is what mentioned over here uh, just now in the earlier as we have seen analog input and analog output but in between that this part is introduced now so apart from this up to this particular point, we are dealing up with the only digital signal processing and based on the need, this further part will be applied. So this interface is called as an analog to digital converter. The output of the ADC is a digital signal that is appropriate as an input to the digital processor. So the controller or the microprocessor at this particular point whatever the output we are getting that can be applied to the processor or the microcontroller so this is what the basic block diagram for the DSP here the analog input signal is taken it may be from any sensor or from any other device so once we got it let's say I want to convert the signal from the mic which is audio signal so obviously it is analog input signal into the digital one then Obviously, I will need this specific block that is a DC analog digital converter. So this block actually uses various steps like the quantization, then the error correction, and further it gives digital input signal to the SP processor. So which will process it and if required stores it and provides it to the controller or the processor section. So this additional part after getting the digital signal at this particular point so after converting into the analog to digital at this stage I will get the digital so this will be further smoothen or we can say store and it is again giving the digital output signal over here with the help of the DSP processor so these processors now nowadays can be used like the processor MSP430 or even 
n3 series these are the various processor which we can use nowadays after this if the demands again the nature of the signal in analog format and further the DAC or the digital to analog converter can be used so this particular thing is if needed only applied to this dog diagram so see in detail for this this is uh, simply guiding the previous explanation digital signal processor may be a large programmable digital computer or a small microprocessor programmed to perform the desired operation on the input signal it may also be a hardwired digital processor configured to perform a specified set of operations on the input signal programmable machines provide the flexibility to change the signal processing operations to change in the software applications where the digital output from the digital signal processor is to be given to the user in analog form such as in speech processing or speech communication another interface is used and called as a DAC however there are other practical applications involving signal analysis where the desired information is conveyed in digital form and no DAC is required so unless there is a necessity to use the DAC don't go for this particular operation for example digital processing of radar signal this is what one of the example we can say as for the introductory part of what exactly the block diagrams require for formulating the DSP that is what we have seen the next section we will see what is the process of converting a discrete time continuous amplitude signal into a digital signal by expressing each sample value as a finite number of digits which is nothing but the operation called as a quantization in the next lecture we will see what is quantization how to deal up with the quantization error what are the number of uh, steps which we can use to formulate the conversion it is called as a quantization so for this lecture thank you everyone thank you very much